exactly, I think, what I'm looking for. To be honest with you. Getting ready to see here is the difference between a scrapper and a scrap in. And I'm telling you right now, as sure as I'm editing these videos, this was done on purpose with malice aforethought. Two weeks. Two weeks I've been trying to find a hook to carry in the truck. A dumpster hook. The best dumpster hook I've found to this point is a broom handle and paint roller. I've had a paint roller in the truck for two weeks. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yes. In a dumpster. This is what I found. Pay close attention to it. Exactly, I think, what I'm looking for. To be honest with you. And I go to the truck. And I get my paint roller out that I've had for two fucking weeks. And I screw it on the end. And voila. All right. I have a dumpster hook now. Hey, you'd think that'd be a good thing, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think that'd be a good thing? See, the one responsible for the fucking hook demise is not talking. So, let's cue her video where she went and unloaded. Let's do this uh, iron unload. Notice she said iron unload. Yeah, she's not talking about an iron. Yeah, hang on. You have to watch it. Here it comes. Look at it. Did you catch it? Did it go too fast? Let's back up. I'll try and stop it. There it is. how far she throws it. Intentional. That was intentional. Admit it. The people of YouTube want to hear from you. Yeah. In case you all don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. That means, yes, I did it. I hate you. I hope you die. There you go. such a master cook. I'll tell you one thing. Nobody can burn dinner like you can, Ma. <laughs> Okay guys, 
let's go and load this thing and see what's back there. He tells me there's a bunch of stuff in the back here. We'll find out. All right, looks like all kinds of good stuff. Looks like it's kind of intertwined. So supposedly there's all kinds of stuff back here. Do what? He told me there's all kinds of good stuff back here, so I guess we're starting with that. Find any good stuff? Apparently he did. <laughs> He's been busy. What's the plate number on that? That's a good question. Very good question. JGG7955. All right. Just put this down. Whoops. You missed a cord, Chuck. Oh, I missed another cord. Here's a donation. <laughs> I didn't figure as much. Now, I guess this is separate. See? This is what he took out of industrial air conditioning units. That's a good thing. He was busy taking that apart, I know. This looks like something that goes to you here. Oh, bless your heart. That's a heavy one. Yeah. Do all these, are those the yeah. same thing? Oh, that's another heavy one. And what about these things? Oh, those will go separately, but I can Okay. This looks like the same. Yeah. Are those compressors? Yes. Okay. Those probably came out of those units the too then. Yeah. I think so. metal to me. Yeah. What are these things? Electric motors. Oh, okay. It's not as humid as it was, so it feels pretty good. It's gonna get, I mean, it's getting to say 83, yeah. but it's gonna be warm, but I'm gonna get my grass cut today. That's my goal. Did ya? Yeah, it's, uh, it feels like I just did it, but it, it was, I think, so I Saturday. It, but I'll have to have it take the rotors outside. Outside, okay. Yeah, I don't have another barrel and our rotator's down. So okay. I don't have this I'm guessing and I don't know if this is the um, the what do they call it the cast iron or not cast iron yeah is that they have to go separate over there okay okay so he'll give me a ticket for that and then he'll give me a ticket for other stuff yeah that's everything now do I need to weigh in or do you already have the weight on those and I can do that all right away? No, you'll have to weigh in because I don't have 
the nothing on the rotors. Yeah, okay, no I'll do that separate. Yeah, you'll have to scale in. Scale, scale in, do the rotors, and scale in separate for the yeah. iron. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you, you guys. So thank you again, sir. Have a great weekend. See you guys. Okay, folks, now we're gonna drop off these rotors and then do the iron. Okay. Got it. He did have a nice uh, container. I think it was this one full of copper in there. He took away, uh, apart some industrial air conditioners. Uh -huh. And uh, that had 13 pounds of copper in it. Really? Yeah. So that was nice. That's good. Yeah. A little something, something. Okay. Done with the rotors. Okay, a lot of caca. Guys, let's do this uh, iron unload. have picked up a lot of patio furniture because I thought he was holding on to something but maybe not.
Oh, that was fun. Leaves and everything else. Bounce back. No, you're fine. I uh, but yeah, my beds. Like I, I think right in my yard since I moved into this house. That front yard has been driving me nuts. Yeah. The rain did the foot. The landlord's got some of the shit I've ever seen. Oh really? Oh man, I stand for that every three months. Oh jeez. Yeah. Good for it right now. It's hard because when it's dry, then they bring in all the dry stuff. Like I've got dogs, yeah. and when it's wet, then I'm I have to, my big golden. I have to steer him immediately into the mud room, wipe him down. <laughs> yeah, we have a hundred pound main corso. So. Oh wow! Okay. 
Yep. And then he did a she did a number on my uh oh, there's a cord. A couple. Um Okay. Not on this side either. Really? Oh, down here. Huh. There they are. Okay. Thank you. But uh she does a number on uh, did a number on my grass where I really had to do some repair work. I don't treat the back because of the dogs. And I just treat them. I don't know if this do you well they've got they're on flea and tick meds. It's not worry too much about that. Last year it was really bad. We had for 14 years. Yeah. Yeah, still got them severely bad. Really? Yeah. Wow. They yeah. were so bad in our yard last year. I don't know why. And I even sprayed. I get that stuff that hooks onto the hose. Mm -hmm. and I spray it about once a month. Still, you had that problem. Yeah. Huh. I wonder why. It was all white. They say dogs with all white fur. Really? Uh, I got two two dark ones so maybe that's but like I said I've got them on stuff anyway but I, I haven't noticed an issue with them but maybe I'm not checking close enough that's a little stuff All right, guys, let's do a weigh and pay. Um, we had 10 pounds on the battery, I paid a dollar 80. On the cast iron, which are the rotors, um, 260 pounds on that at 210 a net ton, paid 27.30. The compressors, 127 pounds of compressors, paid a total $16. The number two copper, we had 14 pounds of that, paid 37.80. Um, the electric motors, eight pounds, paid a dollar twenty-six. The uh, aluminum, just the aluminum radiators without the copper, eight pounds, paid three seventy-eight. But with the copper, seventy pounds, paying one hundred and ten dollars and twenty-five cents. That was awesome. The uh, unclean sheet iron, six hundred forty pounds. We're down to one hundred and seventy-eight fifty a net ton, so that's dropped. It paid fifty-seven twelve. The number two wire. 12 pounds, uh, paid $13.86 for a grand total of $269.17. Pretty good run for one load. Uh, most of it was inside. Um, yeah, not a bad run and uh, we'll be back at it soon. Thanks guys. Really? Just got hit in the head with a bag of trash. <laughs>